Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 11 functions class. This is 6.3 interpreting sinusoidal functions. So let's start with an example. Winnie and Helen are riding their bikes and a pebble is stuck to a wheel of each girl's bike. The graphs below show the heights of the pebbles over time. What can you determine from the graphs? Compare and contrast. So remember compare and contrast means similarities and differences. So if you look at this girl's bike as she travels, you know, this pebble is moving over time and so its height is changing and it's in a non-linear fashion actually ends up being a wave and here's why so you can see um, with this gif as we go around um, the distance from the middle is actually changing in a nonlinear fashion as we get close to here it's really slowing down the height and then as we go along here it's actually getting much faster this is really easy to see if you have a second hand um, clock um, then go ahead and look at it or you can come to the classroom and look at our clock but the, as the second hand goes around, it's actually moving at the same rate always, but the height is not changing at the same rate, right? Because as it moves along here, as it gets to here, it's actually moving over more than it is up and down. So that's why you get this sort of um, non-steep curve, a shallow curve. And as we get to this section, it's moving much more up and down than it is sideways. So that's why you get this steeper section over here in this graph. So that's wh why it works as a sinusoidal function. So here we have these two graphs, and we're going to think about how Winnie and Helen are riding their bikes. The first thing we want to find is always the minimum. So the minimum here is 0 for both of them. And the maximum for Winnie is 60 centimeters, and the maximum for Helen is 50 centimeters. You can just read that right off the graph. So this is actually really useful because it's going to give us two things. Um, if you want to memorize the formulas, you can. Uh, they're actually really helpful. The axis is equal to max plus min divided by 2, so the average of the two, the mean. Um, and the amplitude, which is you know the distance from the middle, the axis is the middle, and amplitude is distance from the middle on either side, is max minus min divided by 2. So that you can find both of these. Um, if we do that, we can see that for A, the axis is equal to 0 plus 60 divided by 2, which is 30 centimeters. And for the amplitude, it's 60 minus 0 divided by 2, which is also 30 centimeters. Okay. So the axis is, in this case, where the wheel is mounted, so we call that the axle, um, the axle of a wheel, where it's mounted, and the amplitude is going to be the radius, because that's how far away from the middle we can get, so it's called the radius. You can see that if I did the top minus the bottom divided by 2, that's the diameter, and then divide by 2, we get the radius, okay? So for Helen's, just choosing a different color here. Um, the axis is going to be, or the axle, is going to be at 0 plus 50 over 2, which is 25 centimeters. And the radius of her bike is equal to 50 minus 0 over 2, which is also 25 centimeters. So when we're comparing them, we can say that um, Winnie's bike wheel is bigger and mounted higher. But they're both, you know, they're both riding their bikes on the ground, so the minimum is zero in both cases, because we want to find some similarities as well. So it makes sense that they're riding on the ground and that the minimum height would be zero, because, uh, you know, that's how the ground works. So <laughs> the last thing that you could do is you could find the period. And the best way to find period is just to look at the graph and say, okay, I'm going to pick either the top point or the bottom point, and I'm going to just mark it in here. This is at 0 0.6. And I'm going to find the next time that it hits that maximum. Um, so that's right here. So we can find that. This is about 1.2 because these are they're 5 in between 1 and 2. So. Um, the period here, that's how frequently one rotation happens, is 1.2 minus 0 0.6. So for Winnie, the period 
is 1.2 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.6 seconds. So her rotation, one rotation takes 0 0.6 seconds to get all the way around the graph, or all, sorry, all the way around the wheel. Um, for Helen, you can see that if we start at this point here, this is the minimum, and we go to this point here, which is about um, 0 0.5, so her period is equal to 0 0.5 seconds. So Helen's wheel rotates more quickly than Winnie's. Okay? Because her period is smaller. So there you go. We've compared the two based on the axis, the amplitude, and the period. Okay, we've got one more question. And you can pause the video and do this on your own, but I'm going to do it for you. So pause the video right now. Okay, so Stacy and Angela are operating tabletop saws in the graph of the height of one tooth on the circular blade relative to the cutting surface of the saw in terms of time is shown. So what information can be gathered about their saws and which would be more suitable to cut a piece of wood 1.8 pieces thick? I'm going to say that Stacy is the A and Angela is the B, even though Angela starts with A. So with this saw, we can see that it goes much more frequently because it's got a really quick, um, a quick period and they do have the same scale and you can also see that table saw B is much bigger but let's do this in a more mathematical way so for A we can see that the max is 2 and the min is negative 8 so to find the axis it's um, 2 plus negative 8 divided by 2 which is equal to negative 3 um, for the amplitude it's going to be 2 minus negative 8 that's 10 over 2 so f the amplitude is 5 we have a radius of 5 for this table saw and then we can also find the period so again we just pick the top height and see how far apart they are you can see here that the period is equal to 0 0.02 for Angela's her max is 1 and her minimum is negative 11 so that tells us that her axis is 1 plus negative 11 over 2 which gives us negative uh, 5 and her amplitude is 1 minus negative 11 that gives us 12 over 2 which is 6 and as for the period, you can see, okay, we're going to go from the tops again. We start here at 0, and it goes to halfway between 0.02 and 0.04. So that gives us about 0.03, so the period equals 0 0.03 seconds. You can write the um, units in there, actually. This is inches, 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 and inches. Okay, so now we're ready to compare them. We've gathered that for A, the axle is mounted three inches below the surface, the table cutting surface, um, and has a radius of five inches. Okay, that's what the axis and the amplitude mean. And it rotates, or it completes one rotation every 0 0.02 seconds and for Angela's the axle is mounted um, uh, 5 inches below the surface and has a radius of 6 inches and it completes a rotation every 0 0.03 seconds. Okay, so which one would you pick to cut a piece of wood 1.8 inches thick? I personally would pick um, 
I would pick Stacy saw A because you can see that if it was on the if it was on the table, which is at zero, then it goes up to two, but Angela's would only go up to one, so it wouldn't cut all the way through the wood. So that is why I would choose Stacy's. All right. So basically, what we talked about today was how to find the axis and the amplitude, and how to find the period. Use the max and the min and the formula, which is right here. Max plus min over 2 and max minus min over 2. Thanks for watching. Bring any questions you have to class. I'll see you soon.